Oh my. Okay. Alright, so this tune... What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit, and uh, I hope everybody had a good holiday weekend, had a good fun and safe holiday weekend. But we're back here on Forza Motorsports 6. But before we get started, there's an S13 sitting there. So I want to highlight a couple comments from last episode here on Forza Motorsports 6. One from uh, Infamous Turbolag saying, if you're playing Forza tomorrow, try putting negative 3 of camber in the front, 0.2 in the rear. For the tow, 0.01 in the front and 0.03 in the rear. And for a caster, try 6.5. It's usually the best tune I put on my cars and adjust from there. And then he goes on to saying he found it works amazing on a 500 horsepower-ish s13 hatch so we're actually going to try those settings here but we're going to do it on an s13 because if you guys don't know this the s13 probably is one of my favorite s chassis around and then we got another comment from david enzo saying great video if you keep if you keep at it you'll be the next slap soon i would suggest downloading tunes and seeing what other people do to get that money tune and learn from that you got the skills you just need a little help with the cars i appreciate that comment man it does mean a lot to me when people comment stuff like that and that's what we're here to do today we're going to run infamous turbo lag settings on this s13 and then we're probably going to download some s13 tunes and see you know what other people are doing so let's get into this right now I don't want to go back to the main screen. Wrong. You know, Forza Motorsports 6, you know, that's what we're playing. <laughs> All right. So I already went ahead and tuned this car up to about 495 horsepower with the V8 and added all my stuff. We're going to leave the tires the same. We're going to drop tires. Eh, drop them down to what? Around that. Leaves the game ratio for right now. Now he said negative three in the front. I got to pull up my cheat sheet because... 100% don't really remember all of that on top of my head. Negative 3 in the front and 0 0.02 in the rear. It's probably just 0 0.2. And then uh, 0 0.1 and um, what did he say? 0 0.3 and then 6.5 caster. And now we're going to leave that how it is, but we're going to lower the car. Not completely down, leave the front a little bit higher, you know, for that little dip in. Go over there, there. Lower the brakes a little bit, almost like a tandem style brakes. And then, of course, we got to lock this rear diff. 70 in the rear. So we're going to apply these settings now. Now we're going to send out, try this thing out, see how it does. We'll go to Indianapolis. Why not? We'll hit up Indianapolis and try it. Try and drift that bank. We could do it that way with a hairpin, but uh, we'll go the regular way. So we're going to hit up Indianapolis, see how she runs, and uh, go from there. Big shout out to Infamous Turbolag for these settings. We're going to see how this works. 495 horsepower V8 S13. I feel like the gear ratio is probably a little bit off. We're gonna probably drift us in fourth. All right, here we go. First e break in. So okay. So I just want to see how the steering wheel reacted. The steering wheel reacts how I want it to. All right, so let's uh, clutch kick it, kick it in. There we go. I do love the sound of a V8 S13. I am pretty happy around 500 horse. Ooh. Could have done a little bit better on that. But so far, suspension tune. Not a bad setting. I don't think I'm going to be able to break that long enough. Nope. Gonna light up the tires here. I think we need to play around a little bit with the settings. Maybe the gear ratio a little bit. Yeah, I think we need to. 
We need to change that gear ratio a little bit, so we're gonna do that now. Gearing, put a little more speed, because I do like third gear. Fly setup, yes. All right, we'll leave it how it is. So, like I said, I hope you guys all had a very good holiday weekend. If you guys did something really fun, comment it down in the comment section down below. Maybe you guys just chilled around the house, barbecued or whatnot. I actually uh, went to an Oktoberfest and as well went to an air show and then hung out. You know, it was a lot of fun just to have a weekend off and relax. Not having to worry about work or anything like that. Woo. Here we go. Uh, I didn't think we were going to... Oh, just a tap? I mean, that was kind of a save. Just a tap tap. A little bit of technical difficulties there. Didn't, wasn't too sure if my headset was on or not. So we're good. Ooh, that would have been bad doing all this without even any recording sound. Clutch kick this in. Just bang in fourth gear. Probably should have went into fifth. Yep, definitely should have went into fifth. So we're going to run another lap. So these two, the this, this suspension setup is pretty good. I probably would have to get used to the weight. And I noticed that car did not go into gear how I wanted to. So I am ooh, looking to get more Forza Motorsport 6 this week. So if you guys want to keep seeing Forza Motorsport 6, comment down in the comment section down below. Ooh, could not catch that. So I think we'd have to make some fine tuning to this, which, you know, I expected to have, you know, some fine tuning to the suspension setup. I knew it wasn't going to be perfect. Probably gonna make fine tuning to the, you know, sway bars and stuff, but overall, for a basic tune, it's pretty good for, you know, just a basic baseline. So it, it's very similar to the baseline that I use on most of the cars in Horizon 3. Didn't get on throttle up soon enough. There we go. I am liking this V8 sound though on this S13. Ooh. Like I said before, S13 is probably my favorite S chassis of all. Uh, I think I went in way too early. What do you think? Yep, too early. Okay, nothing happened. Nobody saw anything. Go. A little better. This is the first time that I am messing with like a swapped S chassis. You know, putting a V8 in it. Normally I leave the stock motor in. But I did like the V8 on that uh, Z28 that I have. So we can do this clutch kick. Let's throw it in there. Woo. There we go. Oh no. No. This tap. Oh. So I think, I think that's going to stop that for right now. So we're going to try and find another tune here. I think we can just find it straight through here. See what other tunes people are running. Give those a shot and see if we like those and, or don't like those. Load setup. Recommended tunes. What do we got? Uh, I do not want all-wheel drive tunes. So we're going to set this to drift. Best handling. Search. What do we got? We got a tune from Snoop. Or they call it Snoop. So, looks like all the 508, 580, 700, 666. Hmm. Nicole and Adam. Oh, is that the uh, uh, Nicole and Adam LZ tune? That might be. AR-12 Drift tune. So, there's a lot of tunes here. So, you know what? I am going to try this one. 666, Nicole and Adam. I bet you this is a Nicole and Adam LZ 1J240SX handle, angle, plus rear wheel drive. Well, I mean, I would hope it would be rear wheel drive because if it wasn't, you know, that's not really drifting in my, you know, personal opinion. So we're going to download this tune. We'll see how this one runs. Yes, buy it. 
and see how this one does. This one is from, yeah, lost the name there. All right, so here we go. That's definitely still a V8. I th All right, so after uh, we found that it glitched, so now we are here with the tune, 666 horsepower, two, one Jay-Z. Let's do it. Let's see what this tune has. This car, this car is so tail heavy right now. Way more tail happy than that VA tune I was running. All right, here we go. Too hot. Way too hot. Did not expect it to slide as much as it did. Do love the sound of this car though. Okay, so it's very tail happy what I'm noticing. I wonder if it has to do with the fact that it's 666 horsepower. Like I said, I, I'm comfortable around 500. Wow. So the car seems like it's a lot more tail happy than the V8 that I was running. Maybe it's just a track. We may have to hop into that Z28. Yeah, see, I can't. For some reason, I can't get this car to stay sideways. It just wants to over rotate for me. I wonder if it's a throttle response, maybe. But I'm barely touching the throttle. Yeah, this. I am not a fan of this tune right now, but I mean, it's okay. So it's a little bit better, but I'm really twitchy. I'm nowhere near smooth like I should be, and then we die. So before we try another tune, because that tune's not working out for me, we're gonna switch to the Z28. Try drifting here at Indianapolis because uh, the Z28 is pretty dialed for me. See if maybe it's the track or maybe it's the tunes. I don't know. So if you guys got cars and tunes that you think I would like, like comment them down down in the comment section down below with the car type and the gamer tag as well, or maybe settings like Infamous Turbo Lag did, you know, settings for the car. So we're gonna rip this Z28 here and see maybe if it was just the tunes or if it was the cars or the track we're going to find out because we know from the last episode I am pretty happy in the Z28 so we can give this a shot here go so I'm going to have to go with it was Probably the tunes. Because other than my little grass check there. I. Yeah. Well, other than the fact that I can't get the car sideways. We're going to try another tune in that S13. Of course, we want to get a lap at the Z28. Go. I mean, look at that. So much better. Yep, definitely happy with this car. Have not changed this from last episode, so. Still the same Z28. I think I may change the wheels on it, though. Put some weed sports on there or something like that. Doesn't want to doesn't want to break loose. All right, so let's go back to that S13 and see if we can't find a tune that we can get some drifting going in in that S13. It is different trying different tunes, basically tune hunting, trying to find a tune that is suitable for me. Now I know you know people may say it's my driving style, but uh, everybody has their own different driving style. So everybody's tune is different. Get back in that S13. Alright, so then we're gonna go good shop, setup, load setup. Drift. Best handling, search. Let's see what we got here in the tune sections. 
looking for one with a high star rating. It's a good high star rating. Tag Sylvia, but of course none of the specs show up. Which has been my first time loading rear wheel drive drift tandems by the Mr. Red Star. I wish I could see the specs. So we're gonna try this one. It's got a five star rating, so and it says tandem tune, so what are the specs on this? I know it's gonna show me probably before. 586 horsepower. Okay, I can I can get down with that. Still a little bit higher than I'd like, but we're gonna give it a shot. All right, rear wheel drive tandem tune. Okay, definitely got some wide flares. Ooh. So it sounds like it's probably the stock motor. Alright, let's give it a shot. Okay. A little bit too wide. Grass didn't help. So, so far, other than me going too wide, this tune is, uh, doesn't seem like that little clutch kick. This car just drifts wide out. It's got a little bit of understeer. That could just be me not, you know, giving enough gas. Oh my. Okay. Alright, so this tune... I can probably get down with. Yep, I can get down with this tune. This tune's, uh, handling pretty well, actually. Why win the first, but it did. We're not gonna be able to enter that, but we'll enter it late. Okay. Not bad at all. Okay, so this tune is pretty good actually, so the other tune that I tried, ooh, that's gonna be a wall. The other tune I tried, it was actually, the tune was not dialed for me, I guess you could say. So, we're gonna give us another lap here. So this tune, not bad. So, I think I found a tune that I can mess with a little bit. Gonna have to get a hold of the creator of this tune. Hopefully he's still online so he what his settings are. There we go. Too early. Okay. That was probably the best turn out of complete chaos I've done. Because I didn't think I was actually going to make that. So this S13 tune. Definitely uh, that money tune right now. Probably could tune it a little bit differently for my style. But it's definitely uh, a very good... Uh, The words of my last episode. Money tune. There we go. Look at that. No e brake needed. Just a quick tap of the brakes. Change direction. Counter steer. Yep. All right. This tune's definitely on point. So we're going to flip this around and go the other way. So I think I found a tune that I can work with. So probably going to hop onto an online session, but I'll save that for another episode if you guys want to see. Me take this tune onto an online session comment down below let me know what you guys want to see and uh maybe i'll oh, go into the wall <laughs> my hand slipped off the wheel maybe i will uh take this car into an online session see how it does so as always you guys know you can follow me on facebook twitch twitter and instagram all of which are found in the description box below 
Like I said, I hope you guys had a good holiday weekend. And uh, we're back to the daily uploads here on the channel. Uh, probably going to be kicking more Forza Motorsport 6 this week. So if you guys want to see something specific on Forza Motorsport 6, don't forget to comment it down in the comment section down below. Like I said, I'm probably going to take this car into an online session if you guys want to see it. Save that for another episode. We're going to get one more rip through here to end this episode off. So, as always, guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Ooh, saved it. I'm Evil Rabbit. And I'm out.